Most of us know how to clean our bikes, but if you are in any way unsure how to do that, we've made one or two of those videos over the years. A clean bike is a fast bike. So today, I'm gonna to show you how you can very quickly turn this grubby little bike clean. In fact, I'm gonna show you a number of ways you can do it. Come on, let's go and get it shiny. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to detail your bike and get every single part even the bits that you can't see, looking as amazing as the day you wheeled it out of the bike shop. Before we dive in and get our hands dirty, what exactly is bike detailing? Well, it's a term taken from the car industry and it refers to a certain level or standard of cleaning. You've got your sort of quick wipe over, your hose off and hope for the best. And there's those of you who do a perfectly adequate job of cleaning your bike. But what about people like you and I? The super fussy people that want the very best for our bikes? Well, that is where bike detailing comes into it. You think this looks clean? Well, bike detailing is all about taking things to the next level, about applying protective treatments and coating to the frame and the components to help protect the paint and the finish on those other components, and just not leaving a single speck of dirt behind. To start with, you're gonna need a nice clean bike. Come on, you should know how to do that by now. But before we can take the parts inside, we're gonna need to take the wheels and some of the components off whilst we're outside in the sunshine. Then we can take them in and start detailing our bike. That's all of the components removed off the bike so we've got good access to everything. So let's take it inside and start detailing. To detail your bike, there are loads, like literally loads of different products out there to help make life a little bit easier and protect your frame and the other components. But these are what I'm gonna be using today. And in this container here, I can take all of the components that I've removed off my bike out and then I can clean the individual components in there to keep things nice and tidy and help get everything detailed nicely. And you can see I've already taken a handful of the bits off and that's just to make it easier to get to all of the little bits of the frame, get to the areas that would normally be quite hard to clean. And I could have left some of the components on there, but it just makes life that little bit easier. And this video is all about the details and getting everything as super clean as possible. We need to clean everywhere on the bike, but some of the areas we need to pay particular attention to, around by the bottom bracket, the rear derailleur, and in by the rear caliper, especially also down in the hubs by the center where the spokes join. And that's because these areas are particularly tricky to get to normally because they're covered by lots of different components and just quite tricky to access into. And you can clean these areas with a damp cloth and a soft brush just to get all the dirt off. And if there are any particular areas like this, where the frame is quite stained and a bit dirty still, well then you can use your general purpose bike cleaner, spray some onto a cloth, give it a good scrub, and then wipe it off with your damp cloth afterwards. And once it's nice and clean, I can then apply our protective coating to seal the paintwork up, keep all the dirt out from it, and it'll keep it looking nicer for much longer. And I'm gonna use this today, which will give it a nice deep shine to it because this is a satin frame and I want it to have a bit more shine to it. So it'll bring it up lovely. Before we can apply our protective coating onto the frame, we need to give it a thorough shake first. Do read the instructions of your protective coating though, because they all vary very slightly. This one, shake bottle vigorously, check, we've already done that. Apply using microfiber cloth, well we've got that. Leave 30 to 45 seconds for the coating to dry into a bit of a haze, and then shine it up afterwards. So we can do that now. That's at least 45 seconds. So let's polish this frame up and start rubbing the coating off. Oh, that looks nice and shiny and it feels amazing. The paintwork is super smooth now. And if you wanted to take things even further than that still, there are some super fancy ceramic coatings out there which bond onto the paintwork at some sort of complex molecular level. 
which all sounds very scientific, so I'll probably leave that to Ollie. Anyway, we can move on now to starting to clean some of the first components, starting with our rear derailleur, and we'll clean that over on the workbench. To clean the individual components that we've removed, I'm first going to use our container so we can keep everything in there. I've got some gloves to keep my hands tidy, a brush so we can get into all the little crevices which are hard to get to otherwise, a soft cloth, and then we're going to use our Bite Protect Spray, which is great for cleaning metal, plastics, lubricating some of the little pivot points in our rear derailleur here. And then it leaves a nice protective coating to not only keep it looking shiny, but help protect it from water and dirt when we're out riding. That's the rear derailleur, super clean, detailed, lovely, all with the little nooks and crannies, nice and clean and shiny. And we can repeat the same process for the rest of the components on our bike and work our way through those. However, if we're cleaning any of the brake components, then we're gonna need to use a disc brake specific cleaner to make sure that we don't contaminate any of those parts. So I guess we'll get on and do the rest of it. That's the bike cleaned and detailed, meaning everything's gonna be protected, it's gonna work better, and it's gonna last longer, and gonna be super easy to clean next time we get to it. All that's left is to do some GCM magic so we can get this bike back together in no time at all. Oh, that was quick, it's already done. Hope they talked all the bolts up nicely too. That is how to detail your bike. And you can tweak this process to whatever suits you. You just need to remember to be methodical and take your time to achieve some good results. But do remember that if you're gonna remove some of these components off of your bike, when you go to refit them, use some grease and torque the bolts up correctly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, give it a big thumbs up and let us know your thoughts on bike detailing in the comments section down below. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, well, consider subscribing to GCN Tech and hit the bell icon to stay up to date of our latest videos. See ya.